Welcome to the Salik Hunt Cooking and Recipe Channel. In today's video we will be cooking a black bean jalapeno chipotle and vegetable chili dish brought to you by our very own Salik Hunt. And here he is. So today we're going to make a kind of chili dish. So while I'm in the kitchen preparing and cooking the food, I'll hand you over to my assistant AI Annie Hello, Salik. to walk and talk everybody through the process. Are you ready, Annie? Yes. Ready to go, Salik Hunt. Okay. Let's go. Hello, everybody. First, heat your pan to a low to medium heat and add a dash of olive oil to the pan. Prepare 4 garlic cloves, crush, and add to pan. Spread crushed garlic in the pan and gently fry. Chop 2 white onions and add to pan. Mind your language Salik Hunt and don't be a wimp with the onions in your eyes. Add the sliced carrots. These are frozen vegetables. Salik was supposed to get fresh vegetables, but he missed the shops because he spent too much time looking at himself in the mirror. Add the spinach. Stir in vegetables. Add sweet corn. Stir. Add 1 tablespoon of cumin. 1 tablespoon of smoked paprika. 1 tablespoon of regular paprika. 1 tablespoon of ground coriander 1 tablespoon of coriander slash cilantro leaf 3 quarters of a tablespoon of chipotle flakes 2 chopped jalapeno peppers Salik, you should have put the jalapenos in with the onions and garlic at the beginning Stir together Add 4 vegetable stock cubes. Sprinkle in. Add a dash of cider vinegar. Stir ingredients. Stir and allow to cook for 10 minutes or so. That's really cooking Salik. Stir at intervals while cooking. Add one tin of chopped tomatoes. And stir in. It's looking like a road accident right now Salik. Salik, you forgot to add the tomato puree you dumbass. You should have added one tablespoon of tomato puree earlier. Add a touch of salt and pepper. Add the black beans. These were dried beans, but of course you can use tinned beans. Stir ingredients.
Cover and cook on medium to high heat for around 30 to 40 minutes, or until beans are tender. Stir at intervals while cooking. That is really bubbling dude. When fully cooked through, serve into dish, or whichever way you prefer. Garnish with some fresh leaf coriander slash cilantro. Looks like a swamp. Over to you, Salik Hunt. I've garnished the dish with some fresh leaf coriander. I already said that. Just to add a little bit of a zingy coriander or cilantro taste. Of course cilantro tastes like cilantro. Hmm. Absolutely delightful. Don't talk with your mouth full, Silic. You can taste the coriander just peeping through all those spices, the chili, the chipotle. Hmm? All blended together to create this cosmic masterpiece, if I may say so myself. You are so up your own arse. Silic, does it taste nice? Yes, it does, honey. Wow. Mmm. I'd love to eat yours later. I'll eat mine with microchips. The beans, the black beans. Tender. Oh my god. With texture. Jeez. Juxtaposed against the carrots, the sweet corn, and the spinach. All having their own unique juxtaposition within this glorious bowl. Of food. You are so pretentious, Silic Hunt. Of course. You can put this chili based dish, a jack potato, bread, all kinds of carbohydrates of your choice. What are you waffling on about? I think this would go very nicely with fresh bread. I'm a bit of a fresh bread lover, personally speaking. But I do like my potatoes. I like microchips. Eat up, Salik. I equally enjoy eating dishes such as this. Eating it neat. Just like I drink my liquor. Salik, you are such a dick. So anyway, another dish brought to you by Silly Cunt. And hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Annie. Goodbye, Annie. Thank you so much for watching and please like, share and subscribe. Have a marvelous day and blessings from AI Annie and Salik Hunt.